What's up, everybody? I'm back. And I know, I know, we have some things to talk about. So first things first, as you notice, got some new digs, upgraded a bit, moved down a few floors, got an extra bedroom, now facing west, because you know, who doesn't love a great sunset? Second thing is, we haven't seen each other in a while, right? I know, I, where the heck have I been? Well, I hurt my back. I blew out my L5 S1 disc, which looks like this. It, it was not awesome. It was probably one of the most challenging experiences of my whole life. Uh, but the good news is I had an amazing surgeon. He took great care of me. Last Wednesday I went in and now today I am here talking to you guys. Only 10 days later, not even two weeks later, I'm ready to make videos again. And so last week while I was healing up, I reached out to you all and I said, guys, what's my next video? And you said to me, John, we want to see you make a video of getting data from attachments. And I was like, perfect, because I had an amazing use case for that. So first things first, before you jump into this video, you need to go down to the description and read the blog post linked. Because last week I couldn't make a video about this, so I went ahead and just wrote the blog out to give you guys a start, right? So all right, go ahead and pause me and then go down and read that first. I'll wait. All right, you read it? Perfect, let's keep going. So from here, what you saw in the blog was that Microsoft and Upwork built a partnership. And myself and a principal PM on my team named Kent went ahead and built a solution for them to actually power all of that. So what we did was we took data from a form that was emailed to us and we moved it into SharePoint. Once it was in SharePoint, we took that user information and granted them some permissions in an Office 365 group. Attached to that Office 365 group is a whole other set of tools and features that's there for them to use, right? There's a SharePoint site, there's a team site, we have some forms set up that are embedded within those areas. And, uh, and so you guys saw the first set of actions. Now let's make a video about what happens once someone actually enters that ecosystem. Are you ready for this? Let's go. All right, and here we are on the flow site. So first thing we're gonna do is go to Teams and check out this embedded form that we have inside of Teams. Uh, this one is connected to that 0365 group that I just mentioned in the first part of the video. What we'll be doing in this flow is showing you how to build a flow off of this form submission to then facilitate the Upwork and Microsoft partnership connection. So the first thing is we go and we search for our trigger and we choose Microsoft Forms. We choose when a new response is submitted and we connect to our form. We then add an action and we say get response details from forms. We connect to the same sample form and we grab the response ID of our, when our, of our trigger above. We add another action. We're going to do get user profile from the Office 365 users collection. This is going to give us some additional information based on the user's email. Uh, from there, we're going to go ahead and create an item in SharePoint where we take all the information from the form that the user submitted and then we drop it into our SharePoint site for, for record keeping and, and so that way we have a better place to keep it. So I'm just going ahead and connect into that list now and you can see all of my different fields in my list come available. And now let's just pretend that, oh, I map these one to one, my form and my list match perfectly. And I put in all my dynamic content filling in every single answer. So my form is filled out beautifully into my list, right? All right, add another action. Let's send an email. Let's go ahead and alert myself in this case, but uh, we would actually have alerted the Microsoft team that there is a new application submitted for a project for Upwork. I go ahead and just customize this email a little bit here, let them know that this is an automated notification, telling them that there's a new project, give them some basic information, let them go ahead and check out what that request is all about. All right, let's add another action. And now we're gonna put in an approval. I love approvals. Let's choose the approval type that anyone in the list can approve. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just say uh, new applications pending. We'll assign it to myself, but in this case, again, it would have been assigned to 
the Microsoft team who handles this whole thing. And we just go ahead and customize it here, letting them have some details of what's taking place in the approval, uh, what they need to be approving. And then, you know, as a good, as a good idea, you always want to drop in some dynamic content to, to kind of give them an idea of what they're looking at. So this way they don't have to click the link to go into the approval center to see the full item. If they don't want to, they can just approve on the go. Uh, and so I, I go ahead and just do that here, drop in some dynamic content. And then I'm looking for the, the item link. Where is it? There it is. Perfect. All right. Drop in the item link and then click here to see the item. And so just a link description. All right, let's add another action. And let's update our SharePoint item. Let's connect to that same list. And then let's go down to the bottom in our approval value column, we'll change it to pending. So now that the approval is waiting, we change the SharePoint list item to pending. And now we'll add a condition and we'll look for the response to the approval. And if the response is equal to approve, we will take a set of actions. And if yes, it is approve, let's go ahead and update the SharePoint item. Let's connect to that same list again. And let's go ahead and change that response to approved. And let's put our approver comments in there, comments. All right, let's close that up. Now let's add another action and let's send an email. This time let's send the email to the person that made the request, letting them know, hooray, congratulations, you are approved. In the body, let's put some details about how awesome it is that your request was approved. And then we'll drop in the approver comments. You can see how much glory they gave you for creating such an awesome request. And then finally, let's send one more email. And this one is actually going to go to the Upwork team the opposite team to say, hey guys, our approval process has run and there is an approved uh, Microsoft pilot participant. And so we wanna bring that to their attention. So I go ahead and customize this here and let them know that we approved. And here's some details at this link. Go ahead and check this out. Let's put in some dynamic content for them the name of the user, given name, space, last name. Let's also put some project details, like the title or the description, and tell them, please reach out. Awesome. Now, if no, let's do the same thing, update item. We're gonna go ahead and update this SharePoint item, connect to this list. Do, do, do. Drop in our ID. Okay, perfect. And now let's go and say that we were denied or not moving forward along with the denial comments. So this way you can see what they said when they crushed your dreams. And in case, uh, in case that's not enough here, let's go ahead and send an email to you, the responder, the requester, and let's say, we're very sorry, you have been denied. And then let's put in the body here, some terrible news, that thing that you needed, well, we denied it. Here's why. Let's drop in our approver comments. And then let's say better luck next time. And that my friends is the essence of the remaining piece of the Upwork flow. Let's go ahead and create it and click done. You guys, isn't that legit? Upwork and Microsoft working together. Automated emails being sent off to the proper teams, approvals happening, rejection letters, comments, SharePoint updating itself all along the way with every step of the process. Guys, this was a fun one. 
If you dig this and you want to see more Microsoft stories, be sure and leave a comment below letting me know. If you want to see a different video, also let me know. I love all the ideas you guys can throw at me. Alright? Awesome. Until next time guys, talk to you later.